Praise God brothers and sisters and welcome back again to my channel for another powerful moment of inspiration. As usual, the Bible is the standard in this channel. Now today, we want to go through another amazing story and today we want to go through a topic that says, choose what is best for you. Choose what is best for you. Now, there is a story that is told that comes from the Bible in the, in the book of Luke 10. Now, as Jesus was walking, he comes to a certain place. And in this place, a woman wealth comes into his to her house. And when Jesus is welcome to that house, this woman's name is Mother. Now, Mother starts being busy. We have all been in an African home or any other home that a woman is there. Women will tend to start preparing for the visitor. But this woman mother had a sister. Now when Jesus came in and settled, the sister sat at the feet of Jesus. And Jesus started teaching them. Jesus, I am imagining that Jesus would tell them a truth about life. Jesus would download himself into them as he taught them and at this time mother was very busy now can you see that mother is the one that has invited jesus to the house but mother becomes busy with other things and at one point mother is wondering i can imagine in that place maybe there were men and, and mary is seated there at the feet of jesus learning from jesus and mother goes to jesus and says don't you care that she's not helping me. Please tell her to come and help me. And Jesus says, Mother, I will read what Jesus says. But the Lord replied to her by saying, Mother, Mother, you are anxious and troubled about many things. There is need of only one or but a few things. Mary has chosen the good portion, which shall not be taken away from her which shall not be taken away from her now mother is worried about so many things jesus tells mother you are anxious and worried about so many things children of god sometimes we can actually be in the church we have welcomed jesus we are serving jesus but we have no time in the presence of the king the king comes to your house but you're still busy you're still worried you're still anxious. You're still pushing on with your own way of doing things. I can imagine it's like you today. You welcome Jesus into your life. And you're not the King of Kings. You're not the Lord of Lords. You're the one that says from today, I have welcomed you to my life. But you're still so busy with your life. You are still too busy trying to please Jesus. Let me tell you one thing. What makes sense to him is you being with him, you walking with him, you listening to him, you, you being there at his feet, allowing him to lead you, to guide you, to direct you. Let me tell you, you need to choose the best because he is the one that can show you the direction to your life. He is the one that can declare things in your life and they will be. He is the one that can show you where you have been going wrong. Some of us are busy with your businesses because you're saying that the dollar and the currencies are tough. You're saying things are tough and you are decided to take things in your hand. So you are busy trying to make everything work when the king of glory entered in your life and is ready to show you what you need to do. You need to choose him. You need to choose to listen to from him. You need to choose to allow him to show you the way because he can give you that one idea that can change your life. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 119-105, the psalmist says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Can you imagine that? For me to know the steps I need to take every day, I need to realize that it is Him that we will show me the direction. He is my light. His word that cometh from Him is the one that will tell me what I need to do. I can be so busy even in the name of the Lord, but in the end of the day, I am doing nothing because I do not allow Him to fill me afresh. Amen. You need to allow God, you need to go to him and tell him, God, you know what? I 
have been serving, yes, but today I want to sit at your feet so that you can fill me afresh. Lord, I have been seeking you night and day, but a time has come and I've realized I need to sit you at your feet so that you can show me the way. Because he is able to tell you what is going wrong. That marriage of yours needs you to sit at the feet of Jesus. That job of yours needs you to sit at the feet of Jesus. That thing that has been troubling you because you are so anxious about that thing. You cannot sit down and stop crying because you're worried. You're worried about tomorrow. What will I eat tomorrow? What will I put on tomorrow? But the Lord is saying today, instead of worrying, come and sit at my feet because I will tell you, I will tell you the desire I have for you. Who I know you. I created you. I know everything about you. If you sit at my feet, I can tell you, daughter, see, this is the direction. Son, see, this is the direction. Some of us are too are holding so many things. We can be serving even in the praise team. You can be serving in any other ministry. But because you have not allowed the Lord to download his music inside you, you are doing it and it's getting you tired because you have refused to sit at his feet so that he can fill you afresh. Friends, we have to choose what is best and what is best is him. The psalmist said, I want to read one thing that is in the book of Psalms 27 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord. Wow. Desire. You know, desire is that longing inside. That thing inside you that wants more. You want more. That is what Mary wanted. You desire to see this king of kings. He desire to know what makes him special. He desire to know what he's asking to say about my life. And he says that I will seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to be all the beauty of the Lord to be old beholding takes a time when you look at him and see his beauty when you look at him at his feet and you see how awesome he has been how faithful he has been how wonderful he has been what a great father he has been I behold his beauty Lord I want to behold you I want to see your greatness I want to see your wonderful ways I want to see you how you love me I want you to tell me child I love you child I'm in control child I'm taking you to the next level child stop crying I will wipe your tears away that is what beholding is and he says again and to inquire in his temple now look at this I am not at his temple I'm seated at his feet and I'm inquiring of him asking him God what will happen to me tomorrow and he tells you why are you worried about tomorrow when I hold the whole world in my hands, your future is in my hands. Friends, that is what Mary went for. That is what Mary desired. And Jesus says this can never be taken away from him. When you behold the beauty of the King of Kings, how would you behold the beauty? By longing to listen to his word. By longing to read his word. By longing to be in his presence. Instead of being in the presence where people are making noise, you just want to sit at his feet and you will open your Bible and say, Lord, teach me something new today. Even when things are tough, he has a lesson for you. Friends, today be like Mary. Choose what is best. Choose him. Choose to sit at his feet and he's going to change your life. Thank you again, brothers and sisters, for joining my channel again for that moment of inspiration. I hope me and you will choose to sit at the feet of Jesus for that is the best place for us. And again, welcome back another time for another powerful moment of inspiration. Please, if you're new in this channel, subscribe, share with a friend of two, and let us spread the gospel of Christ, for it is true, it is real. Shalom, God bless you.